This video is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash Todd to start your 30 day free trial. What's up guys? So you all know me as an Apple fanboy. You've seen my videos. I use Macs all the time. Uh, now I'm just kidding. I am an Apple fanboy. I'm not, I'm not trying to hide it. I do have Windows PCs, but the main reasons I use my Mac is because it works easy and I don't really have to worry about viruses as much as I do on a Windows PC. Uh, but that is until now. A new story just came out the other day talking about a new virus for the Mac called Mac Defender. There's a few different names for it, but uh, that's what we're going to call it in this video because that's the main name for it. Uh, that's not to be confused with the Mac Defender app that's actually available for Mac that is a real Mac Defender uh, antivirus software. Kind of sucks for them. <laughs> but uh, basically what this does is it opens up on your computer as a little pop-up and says, hey, you've got viruses on your Mac, let's clear these out. And basically it wants you to install it on your computer and then you type in your credit card information to pay for the antivirus software to clear the viruses off of your Mac. Uh, this is basically how all the antivirus software works on Windows uh, where they'll, they'll install a fake antivirus software warning you about all the viruses that are on your computer and then they want you to give, you, give them your credit card information so they can take all your money. Uh, and there's actually, I think in some instances, where it actually tells you that credit card didn't work, try another one so we can get some more money out of you. That's not exactly what it says, but it's basically doing that. So the Apple support lines have been getting hammered with people calling in about the uh, Mac Defender virus on their computer and they're wanting help. Apple at first was saying they didn't want to help anybody because it says clearly uh, in the stuff you sign that they don't do that. They don't offer any virus protection or help with any of that stuff. But they did actually come out and post a support article on their site to show you how to remove it. So I thought I'd kind of just go over this with you guys. I'm sure you guys are smart enough to know not to install this virus because when you actually do install it, you do have to type in your administrator password. And even if you did that, I'm hoping that you weren't stupid enough to type in your credit card information on an app you've never heard of uh, on the internet. That would not be smart. That's just a tip. Don't do that unless you know what you're paying for and what you're doing. But I have heard that there are some instances where people are using Safari and it auto downloads and installs because of some of the settings in Safari. Uh, actually, Apple will be offering an update probably in the next few days to fix this. I'm not sure if you're going to fix it completely, but uh, hopefully it will fix most of these problems. So that's the news article. Now I'm actually going to show you how to remove the Mac Defender uh, software. Hopefully you guys are smart enough, didn't install it, and you can avoid it from here on out in the future, uh, as well as any other viruses that come out. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you how to fix this. So this support article is on Apple's site. I will give you a link below if you want to go ahead and check it out and follow along with me. Uh, so it's called How to Avoid or Remove Mac Defender Malware. Uh, we don't need to know how to avoid it. Hopefully you guys are smart enough and I've explained to you enough not to install it. Uh, let's go ahead and get onto the resolution part of it. So uh, how, to avoid, how to avoid installing this malware. So I'm going to read off exactly as they say. If any notifications about viruses or security software appear, quit Safari or any other browser that you are using. If a normal attempt at quitting the browser doesn't work, you can go ahead and force quit the browser. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you can hit the Option, Command, and Escape key, and it will load up this. So if I wanted to uh, quit the browser, I'm just going to do Twitter because I don't want to quit my browser, obviously. Uh, and then you hit Force Quit, and that will quit your browser stopping hopefully the installation uh, of the malware. Next it says, in some cases your browser may auto automatically download and launch the installer for this malicious software. If this does happen, cancel the installation process. Do not enter your administrator password. That's 100%. Do not do that. Uh, delete the installer immediately using these steps below. So basically what that's saying is, uh, in some cases, they are actually installing uh, on your computer automatically without you really knowing about it. I think that's only in Safari though. Uh, but eventually it could come out for other browsers. So what you're going to want to do for that is go into the downloads folder and you can just delete it. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, you shouldn't be using a Mac. Uh, just move it to the trash. I just moved a random folder or file, whatever. And then you can go ahead and empty your trash by hitting empty trash. And that's basically how to do that. That's when it, that's before it's installed. That's if you catch it in the uh, installation process. Now let's say it's already installed. Here's how you remove it. It's actually pretty simple. All right, so first off, you're going to move or close the scan window. So go ahead and close it out. It may not close all the way for you, uh, but here's what you're going to do to close it out. Go ahead and go to Finder. Go to Applications, so find your Applications folder. Find the Utilities folder inside that. Open that up, and you're going to open up the Activity Monitor. So go ahead and open that up. Make sure here at the top you have All Processes checked on the drop-down menu, 
and then you can see all of your processes here and basically what you're going to do is you're going to try to find the process uh, and there's a few different name for, names for it. It says here common na app names for the virus. It's called Mac Defender, Mac Security, or Mac Protector. Uh, so anything like that, uh, that's what you're going to want to close out. Uh, so I'm just going to close out, uh, I'll say Facebox Pro because that doesn't really matter. So you're going to select the Mac Defender rather than what I'm selecting. And then you're going to hit Quit Process. And that's basically how you do it. Uh, so just go ahead and quit. And that will quit the process. So there we go, it closed out. Now you can go ahead and quit the activity monitor. Next thing you're going to do is go into the applications folder. So go ahead and go to applications just like we did before. And you're going to delete the Mac Defender app. So let's say I have uTorrent here. Go ahead and right click and move it to trash and then empty your trash. And that's basically how to remove it. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out that have the Mac virus. Let me know if any of you guys have came across it. I do have it on your computer. Let me know if this helped you out. Uh, if it did, be sure to click the like button below for me offering you some great support. And just a little note, because all the Mac fanboys think that Mac can't be targeted by viruses or hackers or anything like that. It's just really as vulnerable as uh, a Windows PC, but it's just that hackers and viruses are targeted toward Windows. Uh, but I think here in the future, like probably very soon, we're going to see more and more viruses uh, for Mac just because those people spend more money on computers normally than Windows PC users and uh, it's they're not really protected by any virus software because Macs don't get that many viruses so maybe in the future we'll see a lot of virus software come out uh, for the Mac which won't be good I'm not hoping it does but I'm not saying it's not gonna happen don't think that your Mac uh, is protected in any way. So that's about it. I can't wait to see all the Apple and Windows fanboys fighting against each other in the comments below. I know it's going to happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one last look at our sponsor for this video, Netflix. Netflix is the world's largest subscription service, instantly streaming movies and TV episodes over the internet and sending DVDs by mail. Members can instantly stream thousands of movies and TV shows on different platforms like the iPhone, iPad, Xbox, PS3, Wii, and Apple TV. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch as many movies and shows as you want with no late fees or due dates for one low monthly price. Sign up using Netflix.com slash tie and you'll get your first 30 days free. I did not have any bloopers for this video. yippity doo dah because I did it right this time. I didn't really mess up at all. I seriously just said yippity doo dah didn't I? Did I? Yeah, you did. Wow.